learning objective will be to discuss about Ohm's law, to investigate the relationship between potential difference and current, to design a circuit for Ohm's law, and to find the value of resistance of a given resistor. The DMM is turned off and set to DCA mode and the range 200 milli ampere. And insert the props at the pair G. This DMM measures the current in milli ampere. The second DMM is turned off and set to DCV mode, range 20 volt and insert the DMM props at points 5 and 6 to measure the voltage across the resistor. We shall do the connections right away. To begin with, we have to set the voltage in PCB at 1.5 volt set the voltage in the PCB at 1.5 volt and insert the voltage pin in the PCB board at point B. You can connect the resistors in across the point F and the value of the resistor will be 330 ohms. You can connect a jumper across the points E so this ensures that the current will flow across the circuit. Voltmeter has to be connected in parallel and the ammeter has to be connected in series across any circuit. At the various voltage of PSB board by keeping it at 3 volt, 4.5 volt, 6 volt and 7.5 volt. To get more readings for the voltmeter and ammeter. After recording your readings plot VI graph by plotting V along the Y axis in volts and I along the X axis in amperes. Calculate the slope and find the resistance and predict what would be the relationship between the V and I across the points G and simultaneously we have to record the corresponding voltage readings in volts in the second DMM which we keep it across points 5 and 6 and now we can note down the readings in the ammeter it records a reading of 4.8 milli ampere and in the voltmeter, it records a reading of 1.56 volts. Voltage in the PCB at 1.5 volt, we can record the current reading in milliampere in the first DMM. Now set the voltage in the PCB at 3 volts and observe your readings in the digital multimeter for ammeter reading and voltmeter reading. Now you can observe that the multimeter shows a reading of 9.6 milli ampere and the voltmeter shows a reading of 3.12 volts. Again set the voltage in the PCB at 4.5 and observe your readings in the digital multimeter for ammeter as well as voltmeter.
the reading in the multimeter is 14.3 milliampere and in the voltmeter it is 4.65 volts. Set the voltage in the PCB at 6 volts and record your current reading in milliampere in the first digital multimeter and voltage reading in the second DMM in volts. The recorded readings are in the ammeter 19.1 milliampere and 6.22 volts in the voltmeter. Now set the voltage in the PCB at 7.5 volts and record the current reading in the first DMM in milliampere and voltage reading in volts in the second DMM. The recorded readings are for ammeter you get 23.9 milliampere and in the voltmeter reading it shows 7.76 volts.